I, one more uh, Peugeot Yardon. So this one is an old design from the, uh, 1989. It is a Swiss phone brand. The manufacturer plate is indeed hidden behind this uh, belt strap uh, clip. So made by Swiss phone telecommunications. Type is DE500. Frequency 466.23125 MHz. We have a serial number and ARP number on that code of April 89. So it does not much in fact when you pour it. It will just give you a display test and it says it is on. And buttons do nothing else. So this one is pretty much worn out as you can see. So I will tear it apart. I have at least 10 of this model anyway, so not a big issue. Here is the battery cover, quite uh, soft plastic, but seems uh, pretty strong. You can see it is quite uh, thick. And to open it, it <coughs> looks like we have to press these two things here. Yes, it comes right off. And it is pretty filthy inside. So we have one shielding here. Antenna, here by the way. And the uh, header connector, it looks for board-to-board uh, -board connection. Yes. So first uh, PCB, there is a wall shielding here. This must be a capacitor. Co-associator, little chip here. I will put the... Uh, the reference in the video description. And we have shielding with what seems to be frequency stuff. So by the way I did reorganize my uh, drawers of tools and it is way more convenient uh, to find immediately what you want. So we have some uh, passives here. This thing maybe uh, yes I did just damage it. The uh, quartz by Toyocom free leg squat again. So in fact the uh, case is uh, grounded it seems and here we have just a little bit of shielding for this as you can see pretty old school design here no through all parts except uh, for uh, this and this and this and here we have some balls of fluff and uh, this uh, PCB, it looks like it is uh, fixed to the case with uh, melted uh, plastic uh, pegs. So we have, uh, this must be a buzzer, the battery contacts, one sharp memory chip, one neck chip, and uh, our neck, but here we stickers are pretty hard to remove so I will try to uh, try it off then we will see what we have in here yes it comes pretty easy in fact here we are so in fact we have nothing uh, except golden contacts for the zebra strip of the display which is made by Epson as you can see nice uh, zebra strips the glass uh, plate on the screen and very filthy buttons it is on oh, by the way this clip here is uh, mounted on a socket it is a uh, bodyless socket in fact uh, directly the socket pins embedded in the PCB and we have 
So this must be a uh, EE problem maybe in which the, the device number is uh, programmed. So I will try to remove the stickers on these clips in order to read the references. I'm sure it will, be, it will be easy, but... So this is interesting because if I can uh, either read it with maybe a builder reader with an Arduino, I have to check if it is uh, doable or reuse it. If not, I will probably try to get a clip uh, all uh, e purpose uh, ROM uh, a ROM reader in, uh, on eBay. I believe they can do the all kind of clips, but they are not uh, so clip in fact. Okay, so as you can see, not much to salvage in this. Battery contacts as always. This must be the buzzer, yes. All this ship here. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.